In this session, we'll see how to use module.exports. There are different ways of using it and there's also a nice way of using it. We'll see this with a with an example program. We'll create a file main.js. We'll create another file details.js. Let's uh, let's start programming. Uh, by default, we'll have access to module object in JavaScript. So, module will be available by default, and there is export keyword. So, whenever we write, um, okay, let's write this one. Okay, I have a return module that exports equal to a string. And in main.js, I will require it. Let's execute the program. So we are getting a string. What's happening here is in details.js I'm I'm exporting a string. Module object is available by default and there is a there is exports object. So whenever we require another file, the exports object gets uh, returned. So in this case we have assigned a string to exports object so a string is written here in details and we when we print details we are getting a string we can attach any any objects to this export object let's see how to do that so this is one way of exporting let's export this way So this will yield the same result. Okay. Now let's see how to export a function. Okay. I am exporting a function. Notice that I am passing only the reference here. I am not calling the function. I am not using parentheses. So when I run the main.js, I am getting a function here. This means that my function is getting exported. So to import, to call this function, I just have to use the parentheses because the reference of get name, a function get name is assigned to this exports. So in this case, I can just uh, call this function. I will save it. I am getting my name here. So this is the second way of accessing it. Let's see another way. Let's uh, let's export JSON objects. In this case, I will export this function name. So what this will do is, this will export this JSON object to my, this will assign this uh, JSON to details. What I can do is, I can now access get name 
from uh, so details has the reference of exports so details dot get name will give the access will give the access to the function so i'm getting divine so if i'm giving city i'm getting chennai so i'm able to access so in lot of programs you will see the objects are being accessed this way so this is the object uh, es6 is here yeah, the object destructuring uh, feature i'm i'm using making use of object destructuring feature here so what this will do is this will de automatically destructure the return json into get and make it available as as a variable to us so i can directly use get name i'm getting i'm getting the i'm able to access the function right now so this is by making use of object object destructuring feature okay so this is the third way of uh, exporting data from a file we can also export individual uh individual functions like this get name if you have any doubts in this program please let me know in the comments So if I'm printing printing details now, exports is returning a function. So I a function will be printing here. I'm getting a function. To call this function, I have to use this name. You can see the intelligence of VS Code working here. So if I'm accessing details dot i can see all the functions available to me here you can make use of vs code for development i'm i'm able to access this way so we can we can also attach many number of functions here like this this will this will also work so now we'll be able to access get cd so i'm getting two results this is another way of using it right now we have seen four ways directly exporting a string so export is nothing nothing but uh, an object we can a javascript object we can assign anything to this javascript object here we are assigning a string here we are assigning a function so in that case we can whenever require we require any any file this will return anything that's returned in that particular file using module.exports so whatever we assign in module.exports in details.js this will be returned when we use when we require it okay i hope this is clear so we have seen four ways of exporting 1 2 3 4 these the these are the different ways there's also a nice way of doing it the nice way would be 
exporting through JSON. So this will be the nice way. This is because all the logics are written above module.exports and we are this is like, this is easier to understand for debugging when, when we are uh, debugging this file in the future module load exports okay, this will be the nicer way to use uh, module load exports so when we export this way we need to uh, we can either use object destructuring so we can see the output proper outputs what's happening is json object is written and i am calling get name and get city we can follow either this way or we can use object destructuring here this is all destructuring is available only in e e after year 6 greater than or equal to year 6 so make sure you have your machine your node this software supports year 6 can access my name let's check I'm adding one here this works now this is how we need to use module dot exports there may be other ways but these four ways are we, we can build many applications using these four ways and we can modularize our application using these ways and the best way is to use is to export uh, export objects as json 